Today I'm hoping to be able to give you some information that is already out there, that's already available, um, but for those of you that don't know this or haven't had it put to you in this way, um, hopefully it's going to be um, useful and give you some uh, idea as to where to go yourself if you want to follow this up. What I'm going to be talking about, and it's going to be as brief as I can, um, is the matter of um, the legitimacy of the British monarch and the ramifications of that. Now, um, you might think, well, what do you mean the legitimacy of the monarch? You know, she's the Queen, you know, recently, today's the 15th of September 2015. She's recently celebrated um, the longest reigning monarch ever. So, you know, what are you talking about, Ian? You know, this is, this is crazy. Well, in order to be a legitimate monarch, you have to come from the royal bloodline and you have to be conceived, or you or your ancestors have to be conceived um, in wedlock. <coughs> That's not the case with the British monarch. Now, I'll very briefly go over that, but I will put some information up at the end of this um, video. Um, and um, I'm actually going to um, play a track over this uh, information at the end as well. Um, the, the track's called The Truth. Um, it's from a, a new album um, out called um, Tap Trail Tro Troubadour. Um, and uh, the, the album's pretty awesome. Um, but this song, I think, is pretty appropriate. So, but anyway, I mean, that's, that's um, just something I'm going to be uh, taking on when I'm running up at the end all the um, various points that I'm making here in more detail and giving you places to go to get them. I'll also put links in the bottom of this um, YouTube video if you're watching it on YouTube. And if you're not, then go to YouTube and you can see the links. <laughs> um, back in 1461, King Edward the Fourth ascended the throne of England. King Edward the Fourth was the son of Richard III, and upon Richard III's death, King Edward IV took the throne. And you might think, well, yeah, we know that. Well, it is a matter of absolute, unquestionable historical fact that Richard III was not the father of Edward IV. Now that means, being born out of wedlock, he... Edward IV has not come from royal um, or has not been legitimately conceived in wedlock and also coming from a commoner, basically one of the uh, members of the garrison at the time, uh, he came from a commoner. So he has no, Edward IV has no right to the English throne whatsoever. Other members of the family uh, may have done but not him, but he took the throne. Ever since then, the British royal family's bloodline has come down from him to the current one. Um, the family we know as the House of Windsor, but in, if you, again, you do your research, you find out. And these are the sort of things that I'm not taught in school for some reason. I, I, you know, talk about having some influence, it's incredible. But um, in 1917, the current um, royal family bloodline changed its name to the House of Windsor from, I need to get this right here, I've got it written down, um, the House of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, German bloodline. Now, legitimate royal German bloodline, but nevertheless, not English. They had no right to the throne, and none of them have since, um, obviously that's obviously coming in from marriage uh, recently at that time, but um, none of them have had the right to the throne since back in 1461. Um, so what does that have to do with kind of empowering people now and what can you do about it? Well, one of the roles of a monarch, legitimate monarch, is to give what's called royal assent to the proposals or the bills of Parliament, and when that becomes uh, the case, and the Queen utters the word approved, 
it becomes an act of Parliament and is then imposed on the people because it's put on the statutes along with common law. Um, now, some people think that there's a thing called statute law. No, there isn't. There's no such thing. Statutes have within them common law, admiralty law, acts, things like that. There is no statute law. It's, it's a, the wrong use of the, the term. But nevertheless, um, an act becomes an act and can be imposed upon the people as opposed to the way the um, <coughs> um, laws are created through the courts, um, through the will of the people. Um, acts come into being by being given royal assent, whether the people like it or not. Now, if the monarch is not legitimate, she has no power to give royal assent, or he prior to her. They have as much power as I have. None. So, that means all the bills and the acts that were proposed and that were received royal assent are null and void. Are you paying council tax? Are you paying road tax? Were your children taken from you by the state under the Children Act? All these things are null and void. What to do about that is uh, obviously a very contentious um, point. I'm not really going to go into that, but um, it is important to know where authority comes from. Okay, that um, image I've just put up there is a basic chart showing how things go round and round the House of Commons and the House of Lords, um, getting debated backwards and forwards until eventually they're either thrown out or they get royal assent. Um, but, as I was saying, if the monarch doesn't have the right or the power or the authority to give that royal assent and therefore it doesn't have the authority and the power to bestow authority upon individuals or organizations or um, local government or anything like that, then everything those acts, those um, authorities, those individuals, whatever, are doing that is contrary to your, um, you know, getting on with your life, basically, um, that interferes with that, you should be able to challenge that. So what to do about it? Um, the only thing I can think of, which is the most sort of progressive thing I can think of, is to educate people, to get this information as far and wide as you possibly can. Um, by telling people, and it's important, there is no point preaching to the converted. You have got to go into the lion's den. You have got to talk to the police. You've got to talk to the politicians. Um, you've got to talk to the local authority. You have got to try to speak to the monarch. Believe me, I've tried. Um, you, you always get a reply from, from Buckingham Palace, which is like a very, very, very polite way of saying, please bugger off and leave us alone. Not that I'd ever say that, but um, sometimes you will find that you're ignored by local authorities and politicians. But just keep trying, keep educating people, show them that what they're doing is wrong and try to reach them on a human level. Um, so anyway, um, we can sit back basically and acquiesce to this. We can just sort of say, well, you know, I'm just one man. What can I do? Well, I'm doing my bit here and I'm, you know, in the background trying to help others and myself. Um, along the same lines, doing the same sort of thing, you know, challenging the so-called authorities, asking them, where does your authority come from? And they will often say, this act or that act, and then I'll throw it back at them and say, but the monarch is actually, you know, illegitimate, so you don't have the authority. Have you got any other authority? And then you're met with silence. There you go. But the problem is that you know the local authority, the police, the lawyers, the courts, all these people, um, if they're all, so to speak, in on it, then you'll really find a very difficult case. But you know, it's, imp it's important to stand your ground, do what you think is right. So I'm gonna put up some uh, links, some blurb, some information, um, 
now so you can sort of follow that and there'll be information underneath in the YouTube panel as well. Um, you might also research a woman called the Lady Amanda Louise Abney Hastings or Amanda Louise Hastings. She's the eldest daughter of Michael Abney Hastings or Michael Hastings who died in 2012. Michael Hastings should have been the King of England and um, Lady Hastings should be our current Queen, our current monarch. She has blood right in full entitlement to the English throne. The current usurper has no right there. But this is not to be aggressive or anything like that. I'm just trying to say, you know, if you can reach people at a human level and explain things, try to help people understand, you know what, we've had this for so long why don't we all just try to move forward from this now, truly just put it behind us, understand each other on a much better level, and just move on. If you can reach people at that level, you really are progressive. If you can't, then obviously you have to fall back on your own defences and stand your ground, basically. So anyway, um, take a look at this information. Um, if you find it useful, brilliant. If you don't, well, sorry, I wasted your time. Um, but uh, just... I, I suppose just um, I'll finish this by saying don't acquiesce to people just because they say they have authority over you. Get them to prove it. If they can't prove it, there is none. If they can prove it, great. Okay. Anyway, best of luck and I hope this helped. Thanks. Come back true.